very busy. As you can imagine, that it's a short notice before the first race, but uh, it is like it is that uh, I'm using the days to know everybody into the company and uh, to go deeply in detail, but it's a short notice for sure. First, it's true that it's uh, always very emotional. It's uh, the baby for one season. That it means that uh, when it's come to the reality, it's always a bit emotional. Um, I love the car. Um, I love the red. And uh, with the large Ferrari on the rear wing, uh, I'm more than pleased. Um, but now, you know, at the end of the day, the most important is the speed of the car. And that uh, I think that uh, we are focused today on delivery, but quite soon we'll be focused on performance. I think that when you are at Ferrari, coming uh, after 2022, the team uh, finished P2, that you can't have another objective than to win. Uh, I don't want to say that it will be easy, because I think on the grid that you will have uh, uh, Red Bull and Mercedes with exactly the same target, and uh, only one team will win, and only one driver will win the championship. But at the end of the day, we need to have this kind of target. We need to be in the mindset to do a better job tomorrow than today, and uh, to be always trying to improve the system. As we said before, it's a very short notice and it's difficult to have a big change into the organization that we will do some uh, uh, marginal changes into the organization on the race team operation. And then let's see after Bahrain and uh, the first couple of races what we will do. They all want to win, but the most important is to win with and for Ferrari. That uh, we have to be clear on the objective. I think they both have the talent and the skills to, to achieve it. We will have the capacity to provide exactly the same cars to the two drivers. But for sure that if at one stage during the season we are competing with another team or with another drivers that will have to make choice. They are perfectly aware of this, but uh, so far we have no number one and number two. In any case, we don't lose or win the championship in Bahrain. It will be a very long one and we will have to fight and fight and fight all the season. We think the best way to deal with such a long calendar is to create the best environment for, uh, for our team. But creating the best environment means putting the right conditions for them to work uh, in, in the best atmosphere, to work in, in an environment that will allow them to express themselves uh, at best. So then, of course, we decided to take uh, a little bit of a, um, perhaps difficult to start with approach. We decided to go the route of um, rotation. So we are rotating our teams where possible. Of course, it doesn't apply to, to every team members, but wherever we feel that the rotation is possible between the factory-based group and the uh, race group, we have a light rotations in such a way that um, people can have perhaps a little uh, less long calendar and also have a stronger connections with the factory. Finally, um, we, we try to form um, an as protective bubble as possible around our race team. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's part of a fairly extensive well-being programs that we have for the, for the, um, uh, the people traveling, traveling with us. So uh, we try to take care as, uh, of, of their, their physical well-being, of their mental well-being. We try to have, uh, again, uh, a very uh, program that looks at 360 degrees, how to support them best to go through uh, such a long season. And of course, nobody is forgetting that uh, it's the best job in the world. So uh, we, we all go into it with, uh, with a smile on our face. In, in 2023, only 13 races will have what we call the standard uh, race format. Uh, so we'll have these 13 races, which we have been very much used to. Then we will have the six sprint races. Um, which, which, you know, call for different automatism, call from uh, perhaps as well a different preparations going to the race weekends. Um, on top of that, we'll have uh, two races with uh, Pirelli testing during FP2. And finally, a new, a new entry, should I say, for 2023, we'll have two more races where we'll uh, test an alternative tire allocations whereby the drivers will have to use the hard compound in, in Q1, the medium compound in Q2, and the soft compound in Q3. So as you can see, only 13 uh, standard races, 
very many variations around that for the, uh, for, the, for the other races. What it means for us, it will be the same for everyone, what it means for us is uh, another, another layer of focus on the preparations to make sure that uh, we arrive there as prepared as possible to make sure that our automatism are working smoothly and um, that we uh, deal with all the operational and legal implications as best as we can. You know, of course, we had a, a very, very extensive review of 2022, trying to find out where we have performed strongly, uh, obviously uh, analyzing deeply where we have been lacking, as there is no, no, no need to hide. Uh, we have learned uh, some of the things last year in, uh, in, in the hard way on, on, on Sunday afternoon. So, of course, we have had this uh, 360 review. What it means for us is that we are concentrating on uh, giving our people the best platform to express uh, themselves. So we have been reviewing our processes, we have been reviewing the way we are working in order to, to make sure that each, uh, each individual can express itself at best, individually and of course uh, collectively. Well, the truth is, in, uh, in the modern world in which we are, uh, it's all about uh, correlations and making sure that uh, the, uh, the car is matching the, the models uh, with which we have been working all winter. So it's true for uh, the vehicle model, it's true for the tire model, it's true, of course, for the aerodynamic model. So it's all about correlations. Uh, does the car perform as we were expecting? This is very much where the big part of the testing uh, focus will be. Now, of course, once this is done, once this mapping of the car is, is done, we will then be trying to explore its setup envelope, trying to push its limitations to understand uh, how to uh, improve it further. And then, of course, with the test being so close to uh, the actual uh, race weekend, we will, uh, we will dedicate some of this testing time to uh, start our race weekend preparations, to start to do pit stop quality simulation, race simulations with both uh, Charles and Carlos. And uh, we will not know uh, certainly uh, where we are compared to the others at the end of this test because it's, uh, it's simply uh, very difficult to guess and everybody has, has different programs. But what we will know is where we are compared to uh, our own expectations. Is the car performing uh, as much as we felt uh, uh, it would perform?